Hello friends, back again with another tutorial. How to fix Wi-Fi authentication problem. If you are getting any kinds of authentication issue while connecting to the Wi-Fi on your Android devices. So a step by step guide you can follow for all your Android devices on the either steps on the either guide in this video will definitely help you fix the issue. So there are the number of steps, number of guide that you can follow. So let's begin from the start. So go to setting in your device. In setting somewhere you're gonna see application. Click on application. Here you have application manager. Click on application manager and then you can scroll down and you're gonna find setting. So this is my phone, you know, different phone, maybe the different ways to access the setting and the content in the setting are arranged in a different way, sometime in a different sentence. So anyway, you just have to access the page where you have a list of applications that you are, that you have installed in your device. Now you're going to access the setting in the list of application and then click on storage. Once you click on storage, at first clear the case and then guys you can clear the data once you have done that read it before you see you can see all of your application data will be deleted permanently if you do not want to delete the application data you just do not do this and then you can just uh, do it and now you can just try connecting to your wi-fi it should be working fine it's still authentication issue you can follow the next step you can go to the settings in settings somebody gonna find backup and reset is the backup and reset in some phone directly at the bottom you're gonna see the factory reset but in my phone here I have a backup and reset in one the either way I'm just trying to access the factory data reset so somewhere in your phone in a setting you're gonna see factory data reset it doesn't matter whichever version of phone you are using or whichever brand or whichever device you are using here's the factory data reset you're gonna access it and then you're gonna click on it so once you click on it you're gonna read all this properly so it's going to delete lots of information from your phone so be careful and just read it before you continue and then finally at the bottom of your phone you can see reset device click on reset device in order to reset your device so it's going to ask you for the final confirmation click on delete all so it will delete all the information and erase everything from your phone so you can proceed if you want for the factory reset and then you can just log into your phone again you can turn on your phone again and then you can try connecting to the Wi-Fi and it should be working fine. So this is the second step you can follow. If still this step do not work and you have an authentication problem, you can proceed to the next method. You can see here is the Wi-Fi. Just tap the Wi-Fi and you're going to see this page. You can even open this from the setting. Just tap the, your Wi-Fi network, select your Wi-Fi network and tap it. Somewhere you're going to see manage network setting or you might have some different option. Sometime you might get this option directly. It's the show advanced option. So check this advanced option and then you're going to see a static. So the different device has a different ways. You just have to get to the advanced option guys. Just and then somewhere you're going to see IP setting where you have a two different option DSCP and static you're going to choose a static so that is you're going to do because in the beginning when you tap to the Wi-Fi network you might have a different ways it will display you the option in a different smartphone so anyway access the advanced option choose a static in static you're going to put your static Wi-Fi address like 192.168.68.100.60 is right over here so you can change this value so everything should be fine 192.168.100. instead of 60 you can put 61 so you can put any value from 1 to 254 1 to 254 default gateway should be 192.168.100.1 and you can put 24 over here DNS should be 192.168.100.1 and everything should be as it is you don't have to make any changes and then you can just try to save it and connect it and you can see Wi-Fi connected 
Let me tap it once again. If the, it is still do not work, again you have to access the advanced option. Check this box, advanced option, and then here you have a static. You're gonna choose a static again, and then here you have instead of hundred. What you're gonna do? Instead of hundred, you're gonna change it to one one dot sixty one. 192.168.1.61 here you have 100.1 you can have the value 1 over here 1.1 1 .1. and here over also you can change it to 1.1 1 .1. and everything should be as it is it should be 24 over here and all this and try to connect it if this two method do not work you can proceed to the next method so the next method is you can open the setting in setting somewhere you have backup and reset you're going to tap that in backup and reset here you want to see reset network setting click on here you have a Wi-Fi mobile data and Bluetooth click on reset setting you just have to unlock the pattern if you have a password or a pattern and once again you are going to click on reset setting And you can see connection tap to once again and it will display the message connection setting reset once you have done done that if your mobile data is turned on you have to turn it off and again tap the wi-fi and now you're going to select your wi-fi network just click on it It gonna ask you for the password. Once you enter the password, now click on connect. And you can see connected. Still you have authentication problem or connection issue. What you can do the final step is to hard reset your device. Just try to hard reset your device that gonna reboot your system. All the newest version of software, everything in the phone will be deleted, it will be completely wiped up. So be careful and try to hard reset your device. So that is only the final step you can follow. Even if all these steps do not help you, that is the final step you can follow. Hard reset means you are deleting everything from your phone and then your phone will be like a newly purchased one. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and comment and you can share this video with your friends and you can help many people. So guys, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and comment. I catch you in the next video. Have a good day.